What's up guys, Nico here, back with some GUL content for you guys. High level GUL content. Um, as you might know, we already started uh, with the beta one or two weeks ago. And now uh, I have more free time, a little bit more free time to create some content uh, for you guys. And also it's the perfect time to do it because in the next few days, probably, yeah, when this video is out already at that time uh, new players will join a lot of new players will join so this is uh, a beginner uh, video so i will like, explain basic stuff especially for those who already asked for advice um i would say we start right away and we move to the old mill and say hi to our good friend steve What's up, Steve? Yeah, I love this song as well. The Strength of Cold Guard. Shout out to Tyler uh, for creating this awesome music. Um, yeah, he's a genius. So today's topic is, as I said, is more a basic video, a more beginner video um, about decision making. As you might know or felt already when playing the game in our game you have to make a lot of decisions especially when playing and this can result in losing a lot of time and losing the game due to the uh, time and that's why i thought about what could help you guys most at the beginning and it is really decision making because most of the decisions you you have to make uh, during a game or a lot of decisions you can already uh, make those decisions in the deck below or in the in the old mill before the game when preparing a deck what i mean by that is um because the game has so many uh situations where you need to decide whether you attack or whether you stay defensive um, those are hard decis decisions to make. So, uh, yeah, decisions, uh, I, I got it out, spit it out. Uh, because they are so difficult to make, you, we want to focus on those decisions and not on the easy decisions. Let's make the easy decisions already before the game. So first, the first, uh, one you can make already is choose your strategy. Uh, I see a lot of guys building decks and they don't know really which uh, strategy they are going to execute with that deck. So before you're going to build your deck, think about your strategy. What do you want to play? Want to play more defensively, more offensively? Want to take control of the neutral zone right away? Uh, or you want to play around your guardian? There are multiple ways. Of course, you can be, it can change during a game, but you should have a game plan. And let's say uh, we we would choose uh, a strategy where we play around our our guardian. That would mean that we'd be playing more defensively. Then I already know if I play around my guardian, I will protect my guardian. This means it makes more sense to choose a guardian that has range, for example, because if he's protected anyway, you protect his uh, low defense and he's able to join the battle or join combat when your opponent plays aggressive. Um, if we would say we want to take control over the neutral zone right away and play aggressive, we, I, I would pick a more defensive guardian, one of those two, because you, first you have to uh, destroy 14 defense or 12 defense, so that's... Uh, already a, a simple decision I can I can make before the game so of course there are exceptions you can also play around your guardian with Auslock for example or you can play aggressive with Yasash for example but for a beginner if you want to play around your guardian start with a, a hero that has range and if you want to play more aggressive and want to leave your guardian alone Start with a guardian with a more high defensive value. 
because then you don't have to focus on that. Uh, that's already something you don't have to care about. You know, uh, your garden has a high defense uh, defense value, so you can push your cards out a little bit more. You play around your, uh, around your guardian, it gives you range when your opponent plays aggressive. Simple decision. And as mentioned, of course, there are exceptions. And there are also good decks you can build, uh, can play around your garden with also. But just for a beginner, uh, I'm going to repeat my times, uh, repeat myself multiple times. For a beginner, choose a strategy and make the simple decisions already in the old mill where Stevo is serving you a honey meat. So the next point is build your deck, of course, around that strategy. It means we have Yasash, for example. If we take Yasash as our guardian, we need cards that protect our guardian. That means high defense cards that would, uh, we can use the filter. There can be bricks, there can be drugs. There are a lot of cards that are high defense or also there can be troops. For example, Druskur. This troop is also in the starter deck. I can, uh, Big true score four times, for example. Um, that's a pretty good protection for your guardian, but that's just an example. Um, so, the, also another another point would be if you say you want to play more aggressive and you want to play more around, uh, you want to play aggressive, but still you want to uh, take control slowly. You can also take one movement cards and decide uh, not for Yasash. You can go with um, Alsok, for example, because he is uh, increasing the defensive value of all warriors by one, which means if you take that Guardian, I would highly recommend to focus more on your warriors. Also a simple decision to make. So. If we would say we go for Alsok, it would make more sense to focus around uh, around the warriors and also to already use them in your starting drive. So just some simple decisions you can already make beforehand. The next one would be, the next simple decision would be, um, don't take too much ability cards in your deck as a beginner. Why? Because there are so many things you have to consider when playing the game, uh, especially at the start, that it makes it a lot of a lot more difficult for you or for a beginner if you have to focus on 10 different abilities. Let's just say you want to play defensive, you want to protect your cards, focus on uh, the protector ability, for example. Use those cards with the protector ability uh, and learn learn those abilities you already uh, you chose for your deck. That's also a, a a tip I can give you. So focus on less abilities, more on values at the beginning, because there are, it is most of the time you won't even use your abilities because you forget uh, you forget them or don't see the, the the perfect situations in which you could use them. Focus on one, two, or three this uh, three abilities. Of course. Masters that all have abilities, but I mean on, on, on the level Pioneer or Warrior. Also, what you could think about is if you take Rutik, for example, his ability is already, uh, uh, already can be is used before the game. So he, he is increasing your starting time, uh, starting time budget by 75 seconds. If you pick Rutik, you don't even have to think about his ability anymore. It's already it's already done, so uh, one less th less thing to think about, and he also gives you more time, which is crucial for beginners. Um, so, for an example, let's say defensive Nafa stack, um, focus on protector abilities, on high values, and maybe. You can think about one or two abilities 
uh, more, but let's just say focus on the protectability throughout the whole deck and the high values, and then it's already already enough for the start. And slowly, after gaining more experience, you can think about move it, putting more the car, uh, more cards and abilities in your deck. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the decks are better. It just gives you, in some situations, more options. But you have to see those options. Otherwise, the abilities won't give you any benef any any benefit. That's the fourth point. Um, the next point, this is a very important one, is because it is it is uh, connected with a a decision you have to make during the game. Equipment cards. Let's say uh, you decide you go a defensive deck. Let's build one. Let's say we go as a hero. We take Ryuk, for example. We play Yasash. We take Fritz. Mm, Blancara, June, so, or, yeah. Then we take Brooks, protect ability, we go high defense stats. Also take some marksman, and hermeticist, and that's just uh, an example. It's not a deck. I will. I'm creating right now just to give you an example. Then some warriors. So what else? And this card, for example. So now we have all our character cards in our deck, and now we need to choose equipment cards. So at this point. I would recommend, especially for beginners also, to already choose the cards you want to equip. This means if you, if we would say we want to equip, let's say, Brooks, for example, or Briggs. Now let's, let's take Briggs. Briggs is a Hermeticist and a Master. We can say, okay, how many Hermeticists uh, equipment cards do we have here? We only have the Rotadun's Thief, which would give him attack value and lower his defensive value. Probably not the best idea for a defensive deck. So let's take another decision. Let's say we have multiple mm, melee equipment cards. Okay, let's take Brooks. What does Brooks have? Brooks has 5611. If we say I want that we want to equip Brooks and his ability is side by side, so he's a protector, we could give him even more defense. Do we have a card that improves his defense value? Well, yes, we have. We have Asrin's Essence. So we could give him Asrin's Essence. We could also say, uh, you know what, to make him even more a threat, we could give him uh, one movement. Why not? So he's, he's a little bit more mobile and we give him Lucus where he can ride on. So that's, uh, that's for, for Brooks. So we know we don't take Brooks in our starting five. And as soon as we draw Brooks, we give him those two equipment cards. Now, one could say, yeah, but maybe there is uh, a situation during the game where you need to give those equipment cards to another card because uh, otherwise we would lose the game. Well, of course, there will be situations where it is better uh, to give uh, give other, other cards those equipment cards, but it is, especially for beginners, it is uh, one decision you already make beforehand, so you don't need to think about it during the game. You know, as soon as Brooks comes, you equip him. And we could also say that we take Balash as our second card we want to equip. She is a marksman and we could give her the Venus Poison, a deadly frog, use 
this card as our third equipment. This would mean as soon as we draw Valash, we will equip her. We also don't have that many marksmen, so we could focus on giving her the equipment. If you still say, yeah, but that's, I want to be more flexible with my decisions, I, I agree. Uh, but for a beginner, it is really hard uh, to, to make so many decisions in one game. That's why it is easier for him to do it, to do it right before the, uh, before the game. And he knows already if he draws this card, equip it. Because I don't think that for a beginner, uh, those decisions will lose you the game. There are a lot of other things that uh, will lose you the game rather than uh, equipping a card or not. So that's the fourth or fifth point. Uh, and now, because we already mentioned it, as I said, we know who we want to equip. Those cards will, won't be in the starting five. Speaking of starting five, already think about your starting five before you move into a game. Of course, as with more experience, you know more matchups against other heroes or guardians, and also you know better uh, where you, what you want to do when you start the game or what are, what you want to do when when you uh, go second. So, but. Also, for a beginner again, we want to know already before we start the game which strategy we want to use. That, that means we say we have we can have a, a starting five for both scenarios uh, when we start the game or when we go second, or we can say I want to have one scenario, uh, one starting five for each scenario. So one for starting the game and one for going second. Let's just say we focus on only one starting five for both scenarios. We said we want to play more defensively and around our Guardian. Then I would say we will take uh, Bricks. He's a master, has high defense value. We, we pick Drax, is also a high defense card. And we will add some firepower maybe and use or some movement we could use Chiro, both Chiros, take two Chiros with us and as a fifth card we can use Vascor which has a DP quest ability. As I said already this is just an example this is not a a deck I thought about so let's just say try out I want I want to prove the point of uh, making those decisions before the game all right let's go back to the menu main menu see ya steve -o. and then we are gonna use social with this new trial deck of course we're gonna take the pre-order card pack because i pre-ordered pre-ordered of course and one second And we're gonna queue and we have our starting five already prepared let's see who we face i mean it doesn't matter for us now because we just focus on our game and not on our opponent okay we play alnarash and also yasash so we say we go second, but we said we want to play around our Guardian more defensively. We take Bricks. We said we take Drax. We said we take Fast Core. And we said we are going with some damage as well. We take the two, two Chiros. So we, I didn't, uh, I had no need to make a decision because I already did it in the deck builder together with Steve. And we had a good time there. So I am now relaxed and can start the game and can focus on those decisions now now as i as we also already decided we play around our guardian this means we are going to place our cards around our guardian as you can see i placed fast in the middle of all because he is 
um, enhancing all, when he's dying, he's enhancing all adjacent units, the defense value by one. So we place him right in the middle. And as you can see, my opponent <clears throat> has a more, I would say, aggressive hero with Alna Rush. Now we know we just drew Brooks and we will equip him in the next turn or as soon as, a, as it is our turn. All right. We have Brooks. We equip him with more defense and we give him one movement. So we're going to place him. We're going to place Finn and we place Kex. And now we start to, because we play around our Guardian and our opponent did not or did not have the opportunity to play aggressive, we will just move uh, the cards into the neutral zone. So, all right, guys, to sum it up again, decision making uh, is very important in this game. And for a beginner, it can be overwhelming because there are so many decisions to make. That's why uh, we have some, I give you some advice to uh, make some decisions already before the game. And if we sum it up, we have choose your strategy before you build a deck, build your deck around that strategy. Don't take too many ability cards in your deck. Focus on those ability car uh, abilities that you know and that you would like to play. Uh, decide who you want to equip before you de uh, before the game. So if you say, in our example, if we take Brooks, we know we give two equipment cards to Brooks. And as soon as we draw him, we equip him. That's our game plan and we execute it exactly that way. Know your starting five before the game already. Um, that means you have, we have two scenarios. Either you start or your opponent starts. So you can uh, have a starting five for both scenarios or you create two starting fives, one for starting and one for going second. And the last one is execute your game plan. Um, so if you, if your game plan is to play defensively around your guardian and then slowly you can take control over the game, try it. And it, it, if it doesn't work, then, well, maybe uh, you need some uh, changes or maybe you just need some uh, more experience and practice. But the best way is if you have a game plan, try to execute it. Doesn't matter if you fail, you fail, but you learn. Yeah, that's probably uh, everything for today that are the basics. Uh, make those decisions already before the game and you will, uh, you will have a lot of uh, time during the game to make the hard decisions. Uh, for example, should I attack or should I say st uh, stay defensively? Or if you need to uh, count, that also takes a lot of time. So yeah, that's it. Let me know uh, what you guys want to know, uh, have next. Should I uh, give you some deck examples for each starter deck? Or yeah, if you have any ideas, throw them at me in the comment section or in Discord, doesn't matter. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a nice day.